Um, okay, folks, what I want to do today is I've got a receptacle here that's got two wires. I want you to look at this right here. Got the uh, ground, the two blacks, see the dark screw, and the two whites. See the white screws and the ground. I want you to notice one thing. You got your ground and your neutrals on one side. Because in, in theory, this is the building ground and this is the power company ground. That's a whole nother thing. I just want to show you. But if you, as long as you hook up your whites and green on one side, you're good. All your dark screws goes on by itself. So I'm going to show you how to make this up real quick. I will say this about this particular device. They have got it correctly. You notice the wires are going clockwise. They are behind the screw. They're what we call hardwired. A lot of people like to backstab. Backstabbing is not good. No, no, no on the backstabbing. Okay, and I'm not trying to overemphasize that. It's just poor workmanship to backstab. For you electricians and you owners, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this back a little bit. Whoever the previous electrician was did a great job here leaving some extra length. I want you to notice how he's got the pigtail ground here. And I've, uh, for the, uh, this is what we call a pigtail for the ground. I'm just going to make sure it's tight, and it is. It looks good. I'm going to take it and tuck it on back here so we get a nice uh, box fill in here. And a lot of you guys are going to say, well, why are you using side cutters for strippers? You're not supposed to use side cutters for strippers. Well, you guys that says that kind of stuff's not been doing electrical work very long, okay? Because these are your electrician's most, most uh, valuable tool. They're your hammer, your side cutters, they're your strippers, they're your um, beaten hammer, they're, they're everything. They do it all. Needle nose. Sometimes you get into a receptacle that you don't have enough of room to get it in because the box will be recessed too far back and then you have to put a um, spacer in. I'll show you how to do that later on. Okay, Grounds are always first on. Of course, once again, I told you the uh, whites are on, on the same side as the ground. Okay, I always like to tighten that got one more little turn, okay? Because remember, electricity vibrates, folks. That's why it's very important. Everything is totally tight. I want you to notice once again, there's a little tab that ties these two together. That's why it will work. If that tab wasn't be, was broken, one side of this receptacle wouldn't work. Because what's happening here, you got power coming in and power going out. Now I want you to notice how I bring the wire around. It's got a little clip right there. See that little clip? Okay, you want to bring that wire around to where it hooks behind that clip. That way you get a good, good, firm bite. You can't be gentle with these things. Put the pressure on it. Once again, we're going to turn it tight. Sometimes you have to, once again, pull out your side cutters, which is, in this case is a needle nose. Okay. Now I always take, like to take my wires and tuck them back. I like to fold them around a little bit. I bring them and tuck them back in here. And I always like to just bring my device all the way into my box so I get a nice flat surface here. Now I can come in here, grab the speedy. Now I was just telling another one of my uh, technicians a while ago, when you, when you go to put your screw in, you want to make sure you don't strip it. You got to be very careful because these are machine screws, okay? And these are 632, by the way. This one wants to give me a little bit more of a difficult time here. Okay. Anyway, you get the point. Just go in here and screw it straight. If you like this video, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. For you owners, for you electricians, for you good electricians helper, please take some young man and help him out and teach him the trade, okay? Teach it to him correctly and pay it forward. Thank you.